Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Sustainable Scopes. Today we have the Air Max 95 from the Air Sprung Pack. This is in sesame and washed teal. Let me take this opportunity to ask you to like, leave your thoughts, subscribe, ring that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Ah yeah, purchase link for these and the rest of the air sprung pack. Stay tuned for the on foot. So yeah, let's start from the soles up. So we have that sesame outsole, a regrind outsole, very, very nice. We also have that um, air unit underbelly, very cool with the teal um, Nike Air and we've got some nice toadstools, some um, mushroom designs here. The midsole is in white and again we've got that teal for the airbag and then we come to this upper. So this upper is composed of a combination of different materials as you can see if we start from around the toe we've got a, um, a well it's not a leather but it's like a sort of felt material around the toe. As we go up the shoe you can see we've got this um, purple lace and it's like a pipe cleaner. Do you remember pipe cleaners? <laughs> it's a little bit like that. It's a sort of fuzzy material. Very, very nice. Vivid, vivid purple. And we have the teal lace loops. In the center of the tongue, we've also got a very light sail strip of material. This tongue is a sail kind of, sail kind of fabric. And as we go to that tongue tab, We've got the air sprung detailing and a caterpillar as well. Very, very nice. What I like about this, um, the tongue tab and the whole setup here with the laces and lace loops, it gives that grape kind of vibe. I do like that. If we go to the mid portion, you can see by the panels, we have um, different kinds of fabrics. We've got like a sort of hemp material. We've got a um, canvas material. Then we've got this sort of, I did describe it as a leather. It's not a leather. It feels like it's a recycled material and then going down and it's in a kind of gradient as well. So we've got lighter colors to the top and then we end with that deep purple um, kind of feltish material. Very, very nice. Um, to the foxing, we do have a swoosh in teal. Very, very good. And as we come to the heel of the shoe, we are graced with a strip of that purple again. We've got a pinkish Nike Air, and we have, again, you know, the stripes, those panels just reuniting. If we take a look inside the shoe, we've got a white sock liner, and we have a, we have a sail midsole with that swoosh with the Caterpillar again. Very, very nice. Let me know what you think of this pair. For me, I really do like these. The colours, I think the colours work quite well. I, it's just the grape, that grape vibe again. I'm not sure about where it's going with this um, this red colour here, but it's the grape vibe again. Um, I really do like it. The colours are very, very cool. I like the choice of materials. There's several different materials on this shoe. So it gives that, um, you know, the gradient, the panelling, an extra bit of oomph to it you know it's nice to look at i also like this stitch in here which i did mention on the um, air force one review um, i like that kind of stitching right there it just looks nice it's a different color to the tongue itself i believe that is sesame compared to the tongue which is sail and on the reverse of the tongue we've got the swoosh 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 and just do it yeah on the um, reverse of the tongue, which is quite nice. That air sprung logo again, I have to mention it again, really, really good. I do like that a lot. But let me know what you think. How does this pair stack up to the rest of the air sprung pack? Also with this shoe, this is a move to zero shoe. So Nike promises that it contains at least 20% um, recycled materials. Um, that's by weight. Let's take a look at the box. This is the box that it came in, the packaging, pause, read that literature, very, very nice. 
This one doesn't come with the, oh yeah, QR, scan that, scan that. Doesn't come with the hang tag. Also, nothing in the box, no paper. This pair did come in a cardboard box, but it was in a bag as well, just so you know. But yeah, let me know what you think of these. For me, I give these a solid 7.5 out of 10. I like the colors, I like the throwback to that grape colorway. I just think it, it just looks really, really cool. The boldness of the purple. As I said, I've never seen a lace like that before. Very, very interesting. But yeah, let me know what you think of these. Do you like them? Do you rate them? Or do you think, mm, not really too sure, not really feeling them? Remember, purchase link for these and the rest of the pack in the description. Stay tuned for the on foot. I've been Scopes, signing out. See ya!